Good morning, friends. It's Jessica from Three Rivers Homestead. Today is our Azure Standard Pickup Day. I've mentioned, mentioned before that we buy a lot of our bulk groceries from a food co-op based out of Oregon called um, Azure Standard. And once a month, they do a delivery to our area, and we go, and this is where we get all our great deals on bulk foods. And today is our monthly day to pick that up. So why don't you come along with us, and I'll show you how that works. Uh, our delivery today is at 1030, and our drop point is a little over an hour away. So we're trying to get ready here this morning and get out of the house by 9 o'clock, which as a homeschool family that's not used to being dressed and ready and out of the house that early, that can be quite a challenge. So we're all running around getting ready, and we're going to head out the door here soon. I always plan a crock pot meal on these days where I'm out of the house because not leaving the house very often makes it sort of stressful for me, and I get a little tired, and so in the afternoons when I get home, I'm just not in the mood to cook. So today I've got a pork roast in here with just some herbs and some water. I'm just going to let that pork roast cook on low in the crock pot all day while we're gone. And then today when we get back in the afternoon, I might just add some vegetables in there with it or just throw some potatoes in the oven or something like that. Just make it easy so that when I get home I can relax and snuggle the kids and catch up on some laundry and things that I'm not going to be able to do while we're gone this morning. All loaded up and ready to go on time, which is a wonderful thing. I've got a full mug of hot caffeinated tea to keep me um, awake on the drive and we've got the Swiss Family Robinson on a um, an audio book we're gonna listen to since we're gonna be in the car during the normal school time we're gonna get a little read aloud in while we drive and then are you guys all ready to go yeah all right so we're just gonna gas up and then hit the road we set out to find bamboo to build platforms because it would be strong and would hold up well in the rain. Searching in We just made it to our drop point location and the baby slept the whole time, took his morning nap the whole time we were driving. So that was a huge blessing. And now we're just waiting on the truck to come. I have a chance to nurse the baby while we wait. Then we'll load up and head back home. Our truck is here! Yay! <laughs> Time to unload! All packed up and ready to go. Now we're going to head back home. Here's a tip for you. Always take your whole bags of grain like this and keep them in a box or transport them in a Rubbermaid tote, something like that, because these um, bags can rip very easily and we've had lots of times where wheat berries or rice or things like that have spilled. The seat belt um, has ripped a hole in it or something on the seat has ripped a hole so always um, just put them in a box and that will save you having to clean up a big mess. We're starting to unload here and my big bags of grain like this I bring directly out to our freezers because I'm gonna freeze these for at least three days but it'll probably be more like a couple weeks so I can kill any potential weevil eggs that might be in this grain and right here we've got 25 pounds of organic oats this is 50 pounds of organic flour, and then this is 25 pounds of brown rice. So these will go directly in the freezer right now, and we'll get that taken care of here. The first thing we got today Besides the bulk grains that are already in the freezer, we got 25 pounds, is this 25? Yeah, 25 pounds of split peas. I've mentioned before, split pea soup is a staple here, so this will be used for soup this winter. There were a few spices and different herbs and things that we were kind of low on, and so we got paprika. This is a staple in our taco seasoning, and we eat tacos once a week, so we needed more of that. Bay leaves, that's we use bay leaves in a lot of our soups and in our homemade broth that we make. And so I was just preparing for making some bulk broth um, here in the coming months and needed a lot of bay leaves. And then we have parsley flakes. I use parsley quite a bit in seasoning. And for some reason this year, my parsley just didn't grow and thrive in the ways it has in my garden in previous years. So I had to purchase this and this gave me one pound of parsley, which will get us through for quite a while now. One ounce of vanilla beans. I get these to make my own homemade vanilla extract, which I'll try to show you sometime, but 
we were out of beans, and so got that. One pound of nutritional yeast. This is what we use to make like a cheese-like flavor. Since we're a dairy-free family, uh, whenever we want to give a cheese flavor, maybe sprinkle it on popcorn, or I sprinkle it on our lasagna, or sometimes in our pasta, and it kind of gives it that Parmesan cheesy flavor. This is a great um, way for, to do that. You can also use it to make like a dairy-free mac and cheese for the kids. Um, we really like our nutritional yeast. Five pounds of apple juice infused dried cranberries. These are organic. This is a great treat. We add this to our trail mix for the kids and I like it because they're not sweetened with sugar. They use apple juice instead. We got five pounds of that. We also for trail mix got 10 pounds of organic raisins. So that'll be keep us good in dried fruit here for a little while. A pound of dairy-free white chocolate chips. Uh, David likes to use these in baking, so I got him a pound of that to play around with. Five pounds of organic popcorn. Lately, the kids have been loving having popcorn on their movie nights. They do popcorn and apples, and we are almost out of popcorn, so I got another five pounds. I wanted to get a larger bag, but just um, didn't make room in the budget for it this time. So next month, we'll probably be getting a 25-pound bag of that. Five pounds of yellow corn masa flour. This is what I used to make our homemade tortillas and tortilla chips, and so we were almost out of that. I think I've done a video before on how we make our tortillas that I'll link below for you. Five pounds of powdered sugar, also for David's baking experiments. He often needs powdered sugar for that. I got three small cans of organic coconut cream. We, sometimes when we're doing baking, the recipes will call for cream, and obviously we're dairy-free and can't do that, but coconut cream I found to be a great substitute. So we will be using this in some baking, maybe make some whipped cream for our pies here coming up for Thanksgiving. So just three little cans of that. This is free-range, pasture-fed, whole-bone calcium powder. Uh, my children... Obviously, we're not getting calcium from dairy sources. We do try to get it from leafy greens a lot and from small fish like sardines and anchovies. But there are times in the winter where our greens aren't growing out in the garden where the children might not be getting what I feel like is enough calcium in a day. And so this is how we supplement. It's whole bone calcium powder, and I give this to them in conjunction with uh, cod liver oil. Together, the two kind of complement one another and help your body assimilate and, and use the nutrients. Sometimes I'll just sprinkle this in their smoothies and things just to give them a little calcium boost. And I really like this type of um, calcium supplement. I feel like their body's going to use this more efficiently than some of the other um, multivitamins and things like that. We got a package of this organic throat coat tea with cold and flu season coming up and everything going on in the world. We thought it would be wise to have some of this. This is our favorite for respiratory illness, it just um, if children are kind of have a scratchy throat, we'll brew some of this tea and it really is useful. So this is organic throat coat. All right, we got a case of organic tomato paste. I do can a lot of our own tomato products. I do salsa and tomato juice and tomato sauce, but I just can't grow enough tomatoes to do all of our needs. So things like ketchup and tomato paste, I often purchase instead of trying to can. Um, and we use tomato paste mostly to make pizza sauce. Often for our pizzas, we'll use two of these jars to make sauce for one meal. And so this will last us through a couple months of pizza. Excited to have that in the house. And then like I said, our ketchup, I just don't make it um, right now. I have been making taco sauce and barbecue sauce I canned this year. But I just haven't gotten into making our own ketchup, so I got a case of organic ketchup. I have one child who will literally eat ketchup on anything, and so I have to keep that stocked in the house. This is nine pounds of, you know, once again, brand creamy sunflower seed butter. This is what we use as a substitute for peanut butter in our house, and Often as an easy meal for kids, we make sunflower seed butter sandwiches with some of our home canned jelly, and that will get used up. We can easily go through this nine pounds in about a month and a half. We got 10 pounds of this Tink Yada brand brown rice elbow pasta. Like this, there's two bags of that. 
so I'm just kind of trying to add to our uh, bulk pasta. We've got spaghetti noodles and lasagna noodles and some other macaroni up there, but I wanted some elbow noodles. That'll get us through. Whenever grapefruit is on sale, I always pick it up because it's a decent price from Azure. These were seconds. They're juice grade grapefruits, but I think they're going to work just fine for the kids to have for breakfast. So I believe there's 10 pounds of grapefruit that I got. I also got 50 pounds of yellow potatoes. We grew some potatoes this year, but I had already canned and frozen those as hash browns and things, and so I wanted some fresh potatoes for eating. Since we don't have a root cellar right now, I don't have a good place to store things like potatoes, so I don't really grow a lot. And Azure gives me a, a decent price here on bulk organic potatoes, so that's where we get them. The rest of these things weren't planned in my order, but sometimes when you come to your delivery, there'll be packages of items that in the previous stops on the driver's route, people either didn't pick up for whatever reason or didn't show up um, and didn't want. And so they'll offer those to the next places on the route for half price. So all of this I didn't plan to get today, but I got it for 50% off and I'm very, very excited about it. The first thing I got was some... Um, whole mustard seeds. I'm going to use these to kind of experiment with making my own mustard here at home. And this was five pounds of organic buckwheat kasha. We do a lot of buckwheat in our house, so this will be a nice, um, instead of oatmeal one day, I'll make a buckwheat porridge for the children for breakfast. And that's what I'll use. And since it was 50% off, why not? I said, I'll take it. <laughs> and then um, this is, I'm very excited about this. There was a case of um, wild Atlantic kelp. There's There were 50 packages of this in the case that were 50% off, and so my drop uh, coordinator and I decided to split it. I had just been looking into putting more seaweed into our diet because seaweed is so high in iodine and it's really good for your thyroid. It also has some calcium in it and things that we really try to focus on getting into our diets. And so getting this at 50% off was a huge blessing. It was almost meant to be because... I literally was looking at putting this in my order last this this time and just decided to wait on it. But if it's 50% off, I'm going to scoop it up. So these are Maine Coast Sea Vegetable Kelp, and they're certified organic. And um, we will use these to add to soups and stir fry, all sorts of things, just as a nice little uh, nutrient boost here throughout the winter. Something that holds me back often from buying things like this is just I don't like things that come in kind of single serving plastic packaging like this. And but I'm looking at these bags and these they're even telling you to reuse the bag on this. These are nice slideable Ziploc almost bags. And so when I use these up, I will wash them out and use these as freezer bags for other things. I think they'd be great for freezing berries inside of and things like that. So these will not go to waste. And that is my order for this month. Got the potatoes back there. I'll make sure to link to Azure Standard down below if you're interested in seeing what the prices of a lot of these items are, but I can't recommend them enough. Now we've just got to get to work putting this stuff away. Like mustard seeds. You got the mustard seeds, buddy? Yeah, then we can move mountains. What? Then we what? can move mountains. You can move mountains? Yeah. If you have faith like a mustard seed, that's yeah. right.
there we have it. We're all done. We've got everything put away. Counters all cleaned off. It's a really good feeling. I love Azure Standard. It is a little bit of work to drive there, to get to your delivery, to put all the bulk food away, but it's so worth it because I'm stocked up and I don't have to go to the grocery store now for at least another month. And um, I was a drop coordinator for Azure for about five years, so I know a lot about the company. If you have any questions about how it works, please let me know. I'll leave a link to their website in the description, and I can answer any questions that you have. With that said, uh, I hope you're having a blessed day, and I look forward to talking to you again in the future. Bye, friends.